Welcome to Northeast Worlds that come again. So I am uh, stuck to building how I told you I need to uh, push my casting production. So I'm building a casting production machine, how uh, I like to call it. So it's a big bag. I show you. This is the idea. That would be like 24 feet by 4 feet big and bad. I don't ever run a hold the worms to fill out this thing, so I think that the first time I will fill only two sections, so 16 feet or maybe less. I, uh, maybe I can share like in two, 12 feet and 12 feet, and I will put like in the middle. Uh, um, uh, the visual, you know, a panel to divide everything, and uh, I can use the other one for now to store all uh, my um, food. Like, uh, for example, Tuesday, I will pick up a bunch of uh, um, of mushroom compost for a, a local mushroom farm. So, and um, because I don't have really a lot of space at this point, I can just store in the in the in the in the second half of that I'm not putting worm for now. So, meanwhile, the worms they reproduce, uh, I will open uh, some space, and uh, so the worms they like with the, the wage system, they you know can move and harvest the casting from there. So it's I think a nice tool to start to build a, a big uh, worm compost uh, machine production. <laughs> So uh, it will take a big chunk of space, uh, but uh, I can make this work. All right, so now I just got this thing from Depot. I had this uh, big uh, old uh, pole that I can cut uh, is because it's two feet. So this thing is like five feet. I will cut two pieces and I will have an hour more to cut. So let's go cut this stuff. Okay, so let's go and cut this stuff. I forget my glasses, you know, the working glasses, the protection glasses, so I will try to not become blind. <laughs> right. So I put all these panels here, you see, this way. So I would screw everything very, very, very well. And I put this side, okay, inside. So in this way, the, the, the 4x4 poles, so they will be on the outside. Why this? Because those panels are pretty, pretty long. They are 8 feet, so they are a little filmy. So if I put inside the pressures of the bedding, it will be from inside to outside, so they should be okay. If they are not, I will put another piece of lumber, something, you know, uh, transversal to give more stability. But I will see, because lumber is very expensive right now, so you can save a little money, I will be more than happy. So let's do all this stuff. Of course, the battery is dead and the spirit of the battery is dead, so I have to wait something. <laughs> so I have to wait something. Okay, I can wait that the, the, the battery will charge, so I will use the, the big tree. <laughs> uh, it's not handy, but uh, this is what is it. Okay, let's go. Okay, now what I need to do 
it's actually half the stuff. I don't know if I can do by myself. I try. This is the how you to do everything by yourself. <laughs> I, uh, today's Saturday before Easter, nobody was available to help me. So I, but I'm stubborn, I want to finish this project and uh, let me see if I can, uh, I can, uh, you know, pull this stuff up. Uh, work. So I want to also tell you uh, one more thing. I uh, start to go to the gym because I don't know. I don't need to go to the gym anymore because <laughs> all this job I'm doing. Hold on. It's a hard job. So I had two pieces of uh, scrap wood. No, really scraps, but I have these two pieces of, top, uh, of wood. So I decided to put it, you know, just in the center. That maybe it's a little more filming because in the, in the side, you know, one side they have a, a wood block. The other side they share one block, two panels. So, and also the side, this one, the end, you know, they have the, they will have the side panel, so they will be a little stronger. So I decided to put it just, uh, you know, in the middle, like that. Okay. So now let's do the more difficult things. Put the, the, the end panels all by myself. <laughs> that will be a little difficult things. Okay. Let me see how I can do this stuff. Okay, guys, it's done. It's ugly, it's not perfect, <laughs> but it will work. It will make its job. So this thing is uh, uh, 24 by four. Actually, it's a little less than four because uh, there are this distance. It's okay, so it's like four inch, four inch, eight inch. So it is actually three feet and a half. Okay, so it's 24 by three feet and a half. <laughs> So if I had to start this thing over completely new with the whole new bedding and put it inside the old worms, I will need uh, not less than 70, 80 pounds of worms, okay? And of course I will not buy 80 pounds of worms. I put all the worms that I have. So now what I'm, I wanna do, uh, I wanna put one uh, divisor here, so like here. So I will put all the worms that I have in these sides, and I will use this side so like compost pile. Yeah, why not? They put all the extra stuff I got, like manure, and uh, and um, I found a, a supplier of uh, mushroom compost. Actually, that he, he told me it's not completely composted, but almost. So I will put over there, you know, and when it's ready to feed the worms. Now you see it's not straight. <laughs> So I have to straighten, and uh, I can do by myself. But my wife is here; she's helping me to clean, and I will see if she can help her, and you know, take the measurement, choose the uh, right, and see how far uh, I want to space it. Because also, I want to put the big trommel here. So the big trommel will be very close to the big bed, and for me, it would be it's a very easy, you know, just like it's just a shovel and put everything inside the trommel, fit the trommel immediately. So I will put like the trommel here. Over here, there will be all 
um, shelving unit and of course to the other side. Here I will put uh, like uh, the pallet with um, all the material I need. And on the very front side over there, the CFT beans and the nursery big beans. This is the idea, but I have other ideas that uh, I, I want to I want to put together how to make the, the space work better. So let me do the, the things for the divisory. The Actually, there will be a divisory that I can take out. Okay. I put these uh, things in the middle that I can take out if I want to. Okay, so this will be the new Worms house. And uh, till they reproduce and everything, Maybe like called the compost pile, so it will be something that I can just pile up inside, you know, and uh, just let it break down. The the main things they will be the this uh, this mushroom actually, the the, the the mushroom that is not uh, completely composted but almost. So okay, so we're good. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> All right, so now we need to put the tarp. Okay, and the tarp I really need uh, my wife help. And on uh, the top of the tarp, we will put the cardboard. Okay, it's done. And I'm very proud of myself and proud of my wife that she helped me. We put the tarp on the bottom. I start to put uh, some cardboard. I have a bunch of cardboard to shred. Uh, so I want to finish now. Yeah, I put the panel actually. I take out the panel right now. Let me put it back. Okay. The iris. Okay, so what we will do is we will start with this side that is around uh, 14 feet by 4. Okay, so I will put all the ones they hide in the big CFT bin here, like here. Again, I will use here the like storage for uh, like food, like you know the mushroom compost and uh, other stuff, and uh, that's it. So this is the first phase of the new warbury. New adventure is coming. Yeah, this is she's my wife. She don't want to be seen. I'm okay with that. <laughs> okay, guys. So we are done with this amazing job. It was a big job to do by myself. Uh, without my wife, actually, I was not able to put all the tarp in the barn. You can make how, how heavy is this thing, you know, to lift and put the tarp on the barn. But I am so happy. So I will now, right now finish and put all the cardboard on the barn. And uh, tomorrow, Monday, I, um, I, I, I took, actually, I rent um, a pickup truck for two days. So I will start to, pick up, to move stuff from the old warming to the new warming. My wife took one day off, she's working on a project uh, that I will show you tomorrow and uh, on the next video. And this is all for now, so uh, be in, uh, subscribe if you have not subscribed, click the bell icon so you will be updated every time uh, you know, I upload a new video and you will see all this new adventure I come out and uh, I'm, how I'm organizing my you burn one farm in a tiny indoor, tiny indoor space. <laughs> okay, thank you guys very much. Thank you very much. And if you want to support me, if you want to support my business, and if you like uh, the content that uh, actually I'm sharing with you guys, uh, you can go and buy some merchandise on my on my website. I have this amazing picture, all the color you want, you know, with my logo. I have a bunch of stuff. Uh, so that really will be really appreciated. Some. Not this one's merchandise, you know, it's, it's something you don't have to have. Thank you very much, guys. See you next time.